One of the questions we get quite often is how do I increase the R value in an InsoFast wall assembly? Now this is the InsoFast UX 2.0, which will give you an R 4.45 per inch, and we call this an R 8.5 panel. If you did the full wall calculation where you included the thermal mass, the insulation, and the drywall, that will give you an equivalent of performance of an R11. If you compare that to an, a wood frame wall with R13 insulation, that would give you an R10.18 because of the thermal penalties from the studs, the thermal transfer. But with our system, there is no thermal transfer. The studs don't transfer energy. So you get a true R11 wall assembly, which is just a tad bit better than the R13 frame wall. Now, to increase that R value and give you better performance, you can buy our thicker panel getting the 2.5 panel, and that would give you an equivalent of about an R13 wall assembly. And if you wanted to go higher than that, get an R19 or an R15, whatever you need, you, you feel that you need to do, you can do what we call an InsoFast Plus system, which we think is the best value you can get. What you're buying with InsoFast is framing, and insulation, and your framing is going to be on a 16-inch standard setting. So insulation framing, your electrical raceways, moisture control, and you want to add more insulation, you can get inexpensive insulation from your local supplier. If you went with a poly ISO like this panel, you can dial in your add-on insulation by just adding this insulation to the top of the InsoFast panel. So in this case, it's a, a one-inch pan, a one-inch board, and that will add an R6. So you're at about an R15 wall assembly right there, a little less than R15. So that's a way to increase it. If you want to add more insulation, you can add another layer. That would be two inches or that would give you another R11 up to the 8.5, so you're around an R20. It doesn't matter if it's a styrofoam type product or a polyiso type product. You can add as much R value as you need.